Hello everyone, welcome back to Interview Buddies. In today's video, we are going to talk about PG Vector. Also, we are going to talk about how we can use or utilize embeddings to search your database for L1 distance, cosine distance, things like that. Um, if you haven't already, um, I created a video before explaining how you can install PG Vector on your machine, how you can generate embeddings for your data so there are two different videos the link is in the description below and for this video let's get started with the pg vector so if you haven't seen this already there is this uh, pg vector open source uh, github repo uh, and you can go through it you can read all about it how to install how not to install i'm not going to the installation notes here uh, but it's pretty straightforward um, let's say you are already, you already have the PG vector installation done on your machine. Now what you will do with that? So next step would be to generate embeddings, right? To generate embeddings for the data. So I already did that. I have this table called as items and it has few columns. One is ID, name, description, and an embedding. So in this embedding column i the the size the length of the embedding vector is 768 um which is kind of a standard if you are generating from some open source model i think um so in this embedding i have sorry in this table i have generated embeddings for the description column so if you want to see how it looks like so let me query one record select star from items limit one okay so you see a very you know full page of embeddings here on the with all the numbers you can see these are the embeddings and i have generated generated these embeddings for this column description so the text here just description of item a has the embedding with all these numbers and of length 768 okay so these are the embeddings. All right, so I'm going to show you a couple of uh, queries like how you can use these embeddings and and query your existing data by generating the embeddings. But before that, let's take a look at the, uh, the GitHub repo of the PG vector, right? So here they have given certain examples about querying, like they support L2 distance, inner product cosine distance l1 distance right these are like certain distance they have supported as far as in version 070 so i'm going to take examples of l1 distance and inner product so what is inner product so first of all the inner product can be used to measure how aligned two vectors are vectors why because we are talking about vectors here right embeddings are vectors um, so the inner product can be used to measure how aligned the two vectors are and it is used in similarity search, right? So for example, you have these numbers. So 1.3 plus 2.4 is, is basically 11. So that is your inner product. L1 distance is also known as Manhattan distance, which measures distance or dissimilarity. Always non-negative and represents how far two points or two vectors are from each other in, in terms of a grid, right? So if you have two vectors and you want to find the distance between them, you can use L1 or L2 distance. Uh, so this is L1 distance, right? So I have this Python file, embed.py, and what I'm doing with this. So I have, I'm using BERT tokenizer, and I have this sample data, right? And uh, this sample data is basically item and the description basically the same thing right here i'm getting the connection from the database right and and in this one i am generating the embeddings why i'm generating the embeddings when i have to query the data right so when you are when you have embeddings stored in your database and you want to query that data or you want to utilize those embeddings to query your data efficiently, you want to query against those embeddings, right? Not the existing data. Otherwise, 
otherwise the embeddings are of no use so what is happening in this code right when i'm saying search this search term ab so it connects to the database it connects to the database and then it says that give me the records and it passes a query embedding string and what is a query embedding string query embedding string is basically is breaking your existing string that you are passing well not breaking it gen it's generating the the embeddings for the existing string right so here you are seeing that i am passing this string here query and it goes to the tokenizer which is here right it goes to the tokenizer and it generates the embeddings and then those embeddings sorry in this function so it goes to the tokenizer and the input goes to the model and then that model that output it fetches the embeddings out of that you know generated generated list and then this embedding string and uh, embedding string in the form of a string basically we are passing those generated embeddings to this query and saying that select id name description from this particular table order by embedding and we are saying give me the inner product of that right now this is the inner product and a limit of three and here you are passing the whole string so the the thing about embeddings here is that the generated embedding for this particular string is also of the same length which is 768 so when i run this query it will say that like it will form the whole query and in the end it will append the whole list of embeddings which is in the length of 768 and then it will query the database right so we'll see it in a minute so that's what it's happening here and if i run this file and by the way this function is not getting used here so don't worry about it um, so if i run this code on the right side of my screen right so if i say python embed.py it'll take a minute maybe less yeah so it gave me basically inner product it gave me item id item name and the description and it says a b i description of item b and description of item b b so this is the inner product result right how we will calculate the l1 distance here so we'll see it in a minute like what's the difference between l1 and the inner product right so i have changed it to l1 distance here and if i run the same code again so you see how different the result is so it's saying that this item is more closer to your embedding than item b right so bb is returned first the order has changed so that's why like depending on your requirement or how you want to process your data or fetch your data right you can you can use these different distances right so for more understanding like how this this query has been formed let's just print it here print the whole query and okay so if i run this again so you will see that on my screen there's like huge list of numbers and the query is like that select id name everything like whatever we are selecting and then so we're saying order by right vector and then this is your embedding list basically so that's how the query is formed and that's how you can use embeddings to query the data against your ex existing stored embeddings so yeah so that's all for today uh, hope you like this video i will put the links for other two videos in the description and for this code as well um, thank you very much and don't forget to hit subscribe button thank you